G'day guys and girls, it's Captain Carter and welcome back to the Sydney 1850 map here in Transport Fever. Uh, we're looking at the food distribution, or the food resource hub I suppose you can call it. Uh, I was a bit concerned before I actually checked how much we actually had sitting here waiting. We're now down to 107, it is pushing up I think. Yeah, okay, well they're not going to upgrade just yet. Let's have a quick look at the farm while we're here. The farm's doing alright too. And cockadoodle to to you too, sir. Uh, we do have tons of freight here. We've got 252 head of cattle and 303 grain. Uh, what does my train hold? I think it holds about 40 of each. Let's have a quick look, see. 48 cattle, 42 grain. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. We're stocking up fairly nicely. What I do want to try and get done today is I want to extend. I want to try and get some more um, actual freight deliveries going, so we can try to push the development of these towns out a little bit more. Now, Balmain, we can get with a with a could we do that with a truck service? Maybe we could. Actually, you know what? That's what we're going to do today. We're going to set up a truck service between the Freight Hub and Balmain. So, um, guys and girls, sit tight, relax, watch an intro, and I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, first things first, we need to find out where our... Where's our shopping facilities here in Balmain? It's mainly all around the centre of town. They need 169 units to sort of stay, well, afloat. Now, what we may have to do here... Okay. I can see where we've got a bit of a problem. We're going to need to upgrade that road first because there's no way in Lord's High Heaven... Two-lane street, two-lane... No, we need four-lane street. Oi, oi, oi. This is going to cost a couple of bucks. Let's do... Holy hell. Okay, we've got congestion like it's going out of style. Alright. Pause everything because I'm probably going to break something here. So let's go... Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's now plumb in. Plumb it in and do it in a... No. Do it in a straight freaking line. Thank you. Oi. Straight-ish, good enough. 1.25 million. Put a minor hump in it. Is that too high of a hump? No, I quite like that hump. I'm cool with that. Uh, let's make it... Eh, make it steel. I like that. 2.24 million. Yeah, that's pretty cheap for a bridge. Now, did we end up... No, we didn't end up going... Oh, God damn it. Right. Let's try that. And let's try that. Right. Connection made at that end. Yes. Connection made of this end. Yes. Excellent. Right, now, while I have this paused... Okay, our commercial centre was around there, so what we now need to do is we need to plumb in our road depot. So let's just go... Just a basic truck station for now. What are you going to charge me? What if I dump you there? Too much slope? Okay. Don't dump you there, then. Can I do this without getting rid of that big building? Yes, I can. Good. Right. Bloody. There. Whew, that was difficult. Right, okay. Let's have a look at our roads real quick. Now, the only way I can get a four-lane street is going with a large street. Which I'm tempted to try and plumb in here. If I can get this main drag here all updated, which I think I can. Yeah, okay, I can do this. Right, okay, so we want to keep the train track as we're now upgrading. So do that one. That one. Now, the reason I'm upgrading this now is because of reasons. For reasons that I now can't... Oh, what? Why do you challenge me so? Hey? Why do you challenge me so? Where's my... Where's my... No, stop. Where's my doohickey? Doohickey? Okay, I can see why we now have a problem. Do that. Go back. Give me a passenger station. Give me a basic bus and tram station. Plumb it back in. Too much curvature. Right. 
It's basically telling me you don't like that. Okay, well, in that case, I'll just plumb you in here. Uh, yes to electric tram track. Do not press the button too early. Do that. Right. Magic wand, electric tram track, that bit, and that bit. Done. Right. Cool. Keep whatever tram track setting we have. Widen that, widen that to there, and I'm pretty well happy with that. I don't like this. See, this street here is what's buggering that up. Get rid of that. Right. Electric. Plumb you into there. Plumb a standard medium street. Do that, don't put a hump in my track. Put a manageable hump in the track, okay? I'm cool with that. Random bit of uh, electrical <laughs> of tram connection there, but that's fine. Let's then plumb you into there. The hump is back. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna spend. I am gonna spend. Far too much money fixing this. Okay, electric. There to there. Do that. Do it back to that. Keep track. Connect that. See? How hard was that? No, don't do that. Actually, yes, do do that. Whatever. Right, okay. Ugly hump is now gone. We've opened up some more space. I haven't broken the line. I think we're all still electric. Yes, we are. Check our little line doohickey. And there we go. Tram is happy. And we still have lanes for cars, which is exactly what we want. Good. Right. Now, we want our new line. Put that up there. Press the play button. And we want to be going from that truck depot there to that truck depot there. And you're going to send it via every which way and back street that you can possibly find. I'll see how quickly I can break it. Uh, Balmain, okay, we need to rename that. That needs to be the Balmain Commercial Goods. So let's go to that, go to that. Go to that Commercial Goods because it's in the Commercial Zone and it's got Commercial Goods. So we're now doing um, Bal Commercial Goods. Do it. Right, what are you saying now? Darling Harbour to Sydney Cove is now taking 50... Ah. You're not my primary cause of concern right at the moment. My primary concern, cause of concern is a lot of these streets, which I now appear to be completely balking. So let's go to Magic Wand and Keep. Yes, a lot of money. Too much money. Okay, what I want to do here is to spend some money getting these roads up to scratch, and I'm actually going to plumb that all the way down into here as well, down here into Redfern, and you are telling me that it's not possible because of one little bit of, oh for God's sake, bridge pillar collisions. That was the reason why there was a stupid piece of road. Right. Magic wand. Do that. Keep it. Now, don't magic wand it, but lay it. Yes. Oh, doesn't look completely ridiculous. Um, nothing smoothing gun can't fix. Look at that. Smoothing gun to the rescue. It's clipped through the road, but there's absolutely nothing I can do about that, I don't think. No, okay. I'll live with that. Right, now... Let's just go back up here, we'll continue magic wanding some roads. Because after all, we want to try and make this as... Oh, good God, you want to remove all of them. Oh, this is going to be expensive. Right. Too much slope. Why is there too much slope? Still too much. Why? Why? Why is there too much slope? How? It's the end where you join. Oh my goodness. Okay. Solve that problem. 
don't disagree with me. Just agree with me. You're definitely not going to agree with me, but you, at, at the moment, you're doing nothing. Oh, how's it you? I don't care about you a lot anymore. But do that. Small street connection. Yes. Right, magic wand, fat street, keep the tram track, do that. Winning. Look. Do it again. Thank you. Right, we now have six lane street going straight across. Good. Do that. We just want to make sure that all the way into Sydney, we're sort of covering our backsides here. Of course, you're going to tell me construction's not possible, aren't you? Why? Because I'm out of cash. Oh, that's a bit of a pickle. <laughs> How am I going to buy tracks if I'm out of cash? Oh no. That's a problem. Oh well, look, we'll just start. Uh... Why is... Huh? Okay, well you're going four lane anyway, so I'm 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 cool with that. Right, the trams are having a bit of trouble getting in and out of the station, that's fine, the lag is getting real. Right, let's dump a couple of road vehicles on, see if we can't okay, steam lorries, give me how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them, so nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Set them to that. Put them on their merry way. Wonderful. Look at that. And away they go. Dispense the fleet. Right, now, what that should hopefully do is create a little bit more demand on our food line. Where's my food train? He's rushing back at 88 miles an hour. Go, go you little good thing, Doc Emmett Brown. Right, where are you going to pull up? Right in front of my camera? Not quite. Now you will. You may end up being the screenshot. We'll see how we go. Right, okay. So that is hopefully the Balmain food connection going. We still have a metric crap ton of passengers to try and move, but, but those numbers are actually decreasing really well. So that means the amount of services we've got running is enough to keep up with the demand, which is really, really good to see. Okay, he's topping up at Redfern. He should leave the full load with any bit of luck. No, 91 of 96. Going to Central. Look at that. Now I'm waiting. Excellent. Okay, so we're actually moving a butt ton of paper. We're already at $3 million. All right. I think that should hopefully... Um, now, where do these guys want to take their freight route? You want to go there and then zip off that way. You know what? I'm pretty cool with that. Um, at the moment, all the goods lines are not currently making any money, and I completely understand them not making money. Um... But look at that though, our tram service is making money, our bus services are losing cash. Okay, let's just have a quick, um, uh, 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 line, no, don't do that, give me the line manager. Okay, so our bus runs, our new town and our Randwick commuters are currently the ones that are burning the most cash at almost $100,000 a year. Uh, what's our biggest earner? Currently, the Sydney Waverley commuters are making the most amount of money. 13 trains. Holy hell, 13. And 122 second frequency. That is actually really, really good. All right, well, hopefully in the next episode, we will uh, clear this logjam of uh, steam lorries, and hopefully we'll see some progress on the um, on the rest of the network. So, guys, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, smash that like button if you like this video. Leave a comment what you want to see done next, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Actually, I just noticed something that's really cool. Um, Sydney Opera Rock has been replaced by two commercial buildings. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. All right, guys and girls, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys later on the week for some more transport fever. See you.